Good afternoon, my name is Peggy Sullivan. I'm the program manager for the National Theater Project at the New England Foundation for the Arts. And I'd like to thank you all very much for joining us today. Uh, like what we did in Mississippi last year, is important to the National Theater Project, it's important to its advisors, um, and its future grantees, some of which we hope will come from here. Um, and I really appreciate all the effort um, you're making to come out on a Sunday afternoon in this gorgeous, gorgeous weather. Uh, I guarantee you it's nothing like what you're having back in Boston. Uh, and so I really want to say thank you. Um, but before I say anything more, however, I'd like to acknowledge that we are gathering on the lands of the indigenous people that were here, um, the Oodam, the Apache, the Yaki, and the Apata, and I want to thank them, the ancestors past, present, and future for being with us today uh, and sharing with us. Um, I also like to thank the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation, without whom this would not be possible. Here, here. <laughs> Our partners, the Tucson Puma Arts Council, DNA Works, and the Performing Arts Department at the Institute of American Indian Arts for their guidance. Um, their input, which was invaluable for us in putting this together, it's one of those things when you're in Boston and you want to do something somewhere else, you have to have people on the ground who really know <coughs> who know what's going on, who know the people, and who have the connections, because obviously we don't. Um, and I really want to say thank you to our partners. Um, I'd also especially like to thank uh, Roberto Bedoya, Marcelino, Marcelino Quinones. Thank you so much. Um, Daniel Reyes, and Nina Malik. Nina, Nina Malik is the NTP program coordinator. I often refer to her as my other brain. And she is probably one of the most important people in front of the National Theater. So thank you. <laughs> um, I'd also like to uh, recognize um, Kathy Edwards, who is NIFA's uh, executive director, back there at the back. And, and Jane Preston, who is the deputy director of NIFA. The New England Foundation for the Arts National Theater Project is a six-year-old project that supports a creation and touring of device and ensemble theater. And like any six-year-old, we're in that phase of asking questions and wanting things to be fair. Um, at this stage, I hope that we actually never grow up. Um, so what does that mean for a national project? Well, first it means we have to take a look at who's applying and who's receiving grants. Uh, and then ask ourselves, if this is a national project, why aren't we seeing more applicants from the South, from the Midwest, the Northwest, the Northeast, the Southwest? And how can we make our grant making a more equitable representation of the country? Um, one of the many possible answers, um, and we'll, you know, many people are thinking about this and how, how do we do this, but one of the many possible answers is that you can't grant equitably if you don't know the country, the issues, the artists outside of your own comfort zone. So we could study those areas from afar, assign readings, do surveys, etc. But um, as one whose own history has been rewritten by outsiders, uh, I know that that results in a very skewed picture. It takes going to a place, listening, learning from, asking questions, and eating with the people who know best what's going on, who know best what the issues are. And this day is not nearly long enough for that, to do all of that, but it is a start. Um, we believe that a convening like this, where we have artists and presenters and service organizations and funders um, sitting down, eating and learning and discussing is an opportunity to take another step towards that more equitable brand and towards a more equitable national theater project. Um, I know from last year's gathering that it isn't often that artists in the area get the opportunity to participate in this kind of discussion, networking, where you can all sit down and spend a few minutes outside, running around, maybe to see each other's shows, um, to just 
just sit down and talk. And so it's very important that not only that we learn, but that we also allow space for that connection to happen. Um, and I'm also. Uh, at the end of her poem, um, Drinking Under the Moon, She Goes Laughing, my friend uh, Margot Thomas, a Lipa Apache author, scholar, and activist, has a call to action that um, spoke to me a long time ago um, about what it is we can do going forward. And uh, she's a very dear friend. And I was texting her this morning going, guess what, I'm going to use this again. <laughs> she said, OK, fine, whatever. Um, but I want to read that this is the last passage from the poem. Truth and grandmother rabbit on the moon always Always with a sorrowful look on her face, make the medicine, be artistic, do what is necessary. If you want to know more about Margot, Margo, I can give you all kinds of information. But that's from her book, Raven Eye. Right. So I say, Kutapadmush, um, thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to turn it over actually to Carlton Turner, Turner World Around Productions, Executive Director of Alternate Roots, um, and NTP Advisor. Um, to talk about last year's gathering in Mississippi. Uh, and then uh, Christina will orient you more about where we are and what this place is and the work that's done. Thank you. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? Great. Great. Uh, thank you all for uh, those of you that live here for welcoming us to this beautiful space, to this beautiful part of the country. My name is Carlton Turner. I'm the executive director of Alternate Roots uh, and uh, I'm an NTP advisor. And I'm really excited to be here uh, to be a part of this conversation in this community. Uh, last year in Mississippi, uh, we hosted the first of these gatherings uh, as a prelude to the NTP cohort meeting. Um, the cohort meeting is a meeting that happens with those in NEPA that run the NTP program uh, the advisors uh, on the program and the grant recipients for that particular year uh, to talk about their projects, to learn more about the opportunities, to help think through uh, ideas and issues and challenges uh, with their with their work. Um, and so, as we're in the process of making decisions about you know where these grants will go, going through the panel process, uh, NTP has offered a really valuable space to have conversations about. What does it mean to live out values of equity, diversity, inclusion? Um, what does it mean to, to challenge the status quo uh, and rub up against the real infrastructural challenges that we have within, the, within our sector uh, that mirror the challenges that we face within our society? Um, and, and so the, this has been a place that has been really welcoming of those conversations. Uh, as part of my work on the panel, I suggest that we do a one day gathering and, and I first offered to host it in Mississippi, which was a challenge in and of itself, but that uh, on the terms that we spent a day having a conversation about the southern region and, and how these conversations that we have in the panel reflect uh, are reflected in the way that we have these conversations in our community. Uh, and so we brought together a great deal of people uh, from the southeast uh, together in Mississippi for a one-day conversation uh, to talk about the infrastructural challenges that we face um, and, and the differences between Mississippi and Alabama and, 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 and Louisiana and Arkansas and Tennessee uh, and how they're not New York and Chicago and Minneapolis and, and Los Angeles and San Francisco uh, and that we have to be conscious of these differences in the infrastructure that exists to support the development of artists, um, what, how are artists being supported in local communities, uh, what is the what are the educational opportunities? What are the job opportunities? What are the spaces that are that are helping support or produce or commission work? Uh, and how do those things uh, how do we how do those things that are happening in the local community influence the way that we receive applications on the panel? Uh, and making a connection between those two things so that we're not having a conversation in a panel process that is independent of understanding the challenges that are on the ground in these communities. So as we sit in the room and wonder why we're not seeing applications from Alabama, uh, that it's not just, uh, well, too bad they didn't apply this year, uh, but it's a, it's a really factoring in and understanding the challenges 
that exist in those communities that um, do or don't support the development of artists to be able to, to be a part of the process. Uh, and if we're truly a national program, how do we then begin to have those questions uh, challenge us to shift practices uh, and shift policies and procedures to be more inclusive? Um, and, and so it was really helpful to have that conversation in Mississippi. <coughs> we're continuing to bear the fruit of what that meant to have so many uh, enlightened and, and amazing individuals that are working on this work across the country in our community. Uh, and those conversations have continued to evolve locally. Uh, so I'm really excited to be here and to have this opportunity to share yet another year of these conversations and hopefully they will continue to advance the way that we think about our work as we go from here and, and many of, of my friends, the advisors, will be meeting to start the panel process uh, in a few short weeks. Uh, and so uh, thank you for that opportunity to do it in Jackson and I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Who's next? We do printmaking workshops. Um, this is actually what you're where you're in now is our gallery space and also our working studio space. So artists come in from the community and create uh, one of a kind prints, which are um, on the walls right now. And uh, we also do artists in residence. Uh, we host two um, local artists and we give them free space uh, for the year. Uh, that's right over here in, um, on our office space. Um, and I would just like to welcome you all to Chico, and those of you who aren't from here, welcome to Phoenix, and uh, thank you for being here. <laughs> 